Good morning. As she said, we are Jackson City School and we comprise our Activating Catalytic Transformation team. And this year we um, have been focusing on um, school-wide literacy instruction. And so um, to begin our, our year when we sat down with our team, we decided that our problem of practice was going to be to implement consistent literacy strategies across grade levels and content areas. Now we're kind of a unique school, we're K through 12, and in coming up with our problem, we really wanted to find something that all of our stakeholders could be a part of. And so it wasn't that we didn't have literacy strategies going on in our school, it was just we wanted everybody on board with consistent and effective strategies that could be utilized across um, content areas, different classes and grade levels so that in the end result would be that the students would be able to engage in these literacy strategies on their own and become independent readers and thinkers and writers and as they move beyond our doors one day they would take you know what we've taught them with them and so that's that's the purpose of this um, so we have done some different things to get teachers you know on board with this but our theory of action that we came up with was just to develop this cohesive plan of literacy instruction and that all teachers would be using it and as a result we hope to increase our student achievement um, and that again like I said the students be, would be ready to carry that out on their own and so the next step was to look at some data all right so then when we decided um to take this on the teachers we wanted to sit down and decide just by assessments what our kids needed to work on so as a group we looked at all the k prep scores all the map scores and the cert scores we do k uh, the k prep once a year but we do map three times a year and then um, the cert is just six through 12 and we do it three times a year so if you look, we were 41% below proficiency on the K-PREP, and that was kind of, um, it correlated with the MAP, which was 41% below proficiency, and the CERT, which was 51%. So that kind of told us that our literacy needed to be improved. So our long-term uh, goal, of course, is to improve our proficiency across all three of those assessment areas. And then a short-term goal, we want to just create a go-to guide, maybe a flip book or something that all the teachers can use that is common across our, um, our school. Okay, so what we did next was we needed to get an idea of what strategies we were already using in the building and where we needed to go from there. So we did that in a lot of different ways and we spent a lot of time on that because we wanted to make sure we had compiled a list to choose our best 10. We, well, we didn't have a number of 10, but we knew we wanted to stay around that because if we, if we gave too many, we knew it would get kind of overwhelming. So we just wanted to keep it, kind. you know, we didn't want the list to be too long, but we wanted them to be really effective. So we spent a couple months going around to different PLC groups um, just to explaining our program, why we had chosen that, um, and what we wanted to do with that. Um, and then we had teachers share. We went back and asked them to kind of be thinking of their favorite literacy strategies. and Because we wanted some from that were general for everyone, but we also wanted some that would um, work in particular classrooms. You know, math strategy is a lot different than a read, you know, strategy in a reading class. So we spent some time talking about those, and people, teachers compiled those. And then we, after we took all of those that we were given, we kind of used that and made narrowed it down to what we felt like were the ten, ten best ones that we wanted to use. Uh, if you'll go on to the next one. And so we kind of came, what we wanted to do was have some that were, and we wanted them to be adaptable at all grade levels. Uh, and so we wanted to pick some that were kind of specific, because if you notice on our list, we have like, text annotation, Cornell notes, strap, those are pretty specific. Uh, but then we wanted to put some in that had a lot of teacher choice, like the vocabulary strategies and graphic organizers, things of that nature. So we wanted that way that people could uh, make those match the content stuff that they wanted to get, get across. And if you notice, we have on there some, of course, they all, literacy, sh you know, if you're not teaching literacy, it doesn't matter what class you're in, you're, you know, you're, you're we all need to be literacy teachers. Uh, I'm a science teacher myself, but I'll, uh, 
try to incorporate a lot of literacy in, in my classes as well. So well, you notice we have some that fits everything, and then we have some that, like error analysis, that's a specific one for math. Uh, claim evidence and reasoning, we use that a lot in science, but that could also be used in other others as well. So we try to get some things that fit all subjects. And so our next step then was, if you'll go to the next, was to figure out now what do the teachers in our building how comfortable do they feel with those strategies? Uh, and so we sent some surveys, and you can leave it there. So we have a link to the survey, but we didn't know. If we figured we, would, we, we may not have Wi-Fi to go to it. So we, I just did a screenshot of the first page. So just, this is just some of the data that we found out. And if you see the red, if you'll go back, you'll see some of the red. Um, so our, how, we asked questions like, are you familiar with the strategy? And then we asked other questions like, um, could, do you feel like you could teach the strategy to your peers? You're, if, you, if you are familiar with it, could you teach it to your peers? Because we what we were trying to find out was, do we need to go out and get some training? Or do we need to, can we utilize the teachers that we have? Because we wanted to utilize our own teachers if we could. So that was the whole purpose of our strategy. And we learned a lot from that. So you can see some of the data. The red is what have, people have not used in their classrooms. And so the next one, real quick, I'll just... So the next one uh, was, you see that like in this little graph, we could easily tell that we really need to do some with questioning. Um, a lot of people weren't familiar with Cornell Notes or, some, or, or the strap, it's a writing strategy. So um, our goal was to just figure out where we needed to go. What outside training do we need to get and what can we just use inside the building? And then I think Dixie's going to follow us up with that. All right. And now that we have data and we know the direction that we want to go in, we want to be strategic in involving our families, our community, and, of course, utilizing our teachers as, co as peer coaches. And then, too, seeking that outside professional development to meet the needs that we're not proficient in. So using all of that, we're going to be more intentional in planning our professional development during the work during the PLCs is going to be more uh, intentional. And then coming the year of, coming next year, 1920, we want to be more intentional in our uh, community and family events that we offer parent training and the strategies as well, that we have everyone in the school speaking the same strategy language. Uh, we're going to do a um, community media blitz. We're going to do t-shirts. We're super excited about celebrating the strategies and the hard work of our teachers. And then two, br bringing in those community resources and our families on board. So uh, the analyzing the data and finding out what our teachers know and what we still need to know more about really just guides the work. And in our little K through 12 school, I think it's really, we're going to see great results and we look forward to sharing that with you all next time. And a big thank you to KVEC and ARI for the funding and the support. I mean, we couldn't do it without y'all. So thank you.